Hello there, and uh, welcome to a new, hopefully shorter tutorial than the last time. Uh, this time we are still in the map editor, but we are talking about uh, modifications. So, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and open a random map, and in here, if you want to add uh, modifications, there is a tab up here, as you probably realized once, where you can add and interact with modifications. So in here the tab we have the two I know tabs again I guess uh, which is uh, the current modifications and my modifications. Uh, this here is to add uh, modifications of your own in here my modifications, but we are not looking into that today. So now here in the main tab I guess you have two um, sides of it. You have the gameplay side and the visual side. Um, usually you're probably going to be interested in the gameplay side. Visually uh, the visual side is. Um, just for a few small things you might need, but yeah, usually you will be interested in the gameplay side. So, first of all, you probably like wanted to add a mod and we're not quite sure how to do that. So, and I'm going to show you where you can find mods. So, the first way to find mods would be just clicking on this um, question mark up here and you will get linked to the wiki of Glyph Engine, which is created by the uh, official developers. Uh, in here you see um, a bunch of official or default modifications which got created by the developers. So are probably the most stable and um, will probably work almost all of the time if you use them correctly. So now for an example, um, you can read through what they exactly do. Uh, you might not quite understand it as the explanation, it might not be that thoroughly though you will probably quickly understand it. If you don't understand it, you can always ask in the official Discord server in the modification help channel and ask uh, if someone can explain to you how the mod works or what it's supposed to do. So uh, we're gonna take the set construction speed um, just so to show how this works. So um, this one does a change or modify the construction speed of workers. So workers uh, build buildings faster. Basically that's it. So how you're gonna do this is you just copy this whole code including the mod part and uh, you copy that and go back to the game. And when you're in here you can just add modifications and paste it in here. Now when you add it you can see modification added to map construction speed. Like this um, you've just added your first mod probably. There's also um, another way where to find mods, which are not the official from the developer, but um, they're community mods, which means you can find it right down here in the popular mods channel, and there should be a bunch of custom mods, which um, change different things you might want to have changed. Now, if you added a mod, there might be um, a chance, or not really chance, depending on a mod, um, the mod just applies itself when it's when it's in and that's it. Or there are some mods which have a power meter. A power meter means uh, you can modify the mod even more um, and change the stats or the things uh, the mod changes. For example, with the construction speed, we can uh, change the speed um, of how quickly it construct, uh, construct a building. So you can, um, as you can already see here in the description, there is an example uh, which you type in down here, which is percent equal and 200. It doesn't really explain what the 200 means, but you can um, guess that it's gonna be uh, from percent instead of 100 to 200, which means it's double the speed. So if you do uh, 200, it's 200%, so double the construction speed than usually. If you do 50, it's going to be half the construction speed. If you're going to do 1000, it's 10, th 10 times the construction speed. So with this, you can modify um, the construction speed. And yeah, modify the part meter. That was uh, technically already all of it. And when you save the, um, the map and release it, you can um, see that the mod will apply. Now I can see building speed is probably a lot quicker than usual.
Now there's one more small thing, which is uh, updating mods. There um, can sometimes be an update for a mod, and you can see it up here. There is an update for the for the modification. It doesn't really tell you which one, but if you scroll through them, you can figure it out pretty quickly. Like for example here, that's a custom mod, and you can click on update, and the mod will be updated. It's just sometimes you want to do that if the developer of the mod has some changes which um, might um, update the mod in some way, either bug fixes or some additional content, or depending on the mod. It's really a big world open for it. So yeah, uh, I hope I was able to help. Uh, if not, then that's unfortunate. If uh, it was helpful in any way, maybe leave a reaction in some way. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you around soon.